Joining us now live at Maple Pavilion on the pregame show, Jennifer Azy, the Final Four MVP and one of the big keys to get Stanford that first national championship back in 1990. It is great to see you, and I know you were able Thank just you. to listen. You you got to know Tara in a different way. Obviously, you, you played for her, you coached against her. Tell us something about Tara that, that maybe we don't know or that you learned from her over the years. Well, I think Tara was way ahead of her time. I mean, you know, when I played here, and it's, you know, been a long time ago, but the three-point line came in between my freshman and sophomore year, and Tara, being as brilliant as she is, said, well, you know, three's worth more than two. So our entire team learned how to, th how to shoot the three, and it was definitely a key. We were ahead of the time, and I think that was a key to us winning the national championship. And it's interesting, I went back and looked at your former teammates, what the rundown was, and you talk about Sonia Henning, Trish Stevens, and uh, what you guys were able to do. I mean, she had a trail four, trail five back in the day, back spread then. the floor and just launch those threes. So even back then, as you mentioned, Tara sort of ahead of her time and in the present as well. Oh, definitely. And it, it was a key for us and it shocked everybody. I mean, I remember even back then, you know, the legendary Pat Summit was saying, no, we get the ball inside, right. inside. And so being able to stretch the four and have Trish and Julie Zilstra and those players being able to knock down threes um, was definitely instrumental in our success. What do you remember about that 1990 national championship run? Because it was obviously special for you and all the players. You beat Auburn in the, in the championship and you got to do it basically in your backyard, Knoxville. You know, I remember it being four years in the making. You know, I, I, we were fortunate to have been, you know, part of TARS first recruiting class, myself, Katie Stedding. And, you know, we, this is why we came here. It's why Sonia Henning came here. It's why Trisha came here, why Val Whiting came here. And so, um, not that it was necessarily something we knew would happen, but it was something that we were working towards. And so, you know, that 90 championship with everybody involved was so special. Jennifer, when you were a player here, did you think Tara was a great coach, a Hall of Fame coach? What did you think of her <laughs> as a coach? Just give us the, just between us. I thought Tara was brilliant, but I thought she was very tough. And, and she didn't sugarcoat anything. I mean, when you watched film with her, it was it could be brutal. It hasn't but, changed. But no, it hasn't. I, and that's a good thing, right? But when you walk away, you know that you're a much better player. And then when I stepped in more of the coaching role at USF, I mean, you realize just how brilliant she is. You appreciate, I'm sure, more and more as you get further and further away from those times. I want to ask you about this matchup coming up in just a little bit because okay. it's going to be a good one. We're excited. I know you're here to take it all in. Who's the player that you love watching on the Stanford roster? Well, I'll tell you, I love Smith and I love Carrington. I love the entire team. But I think where I've been so impressed with Dijanae this season is her, Im her improvement from last year to this year. And I know Tara's been pretty hard on her and I've I've loved, you know, we we saw her as a recruit when I was coaching, so I've seen her evolution and it's just been fantastic. Her energy is great and it affects the entire team. It's kind of what Tara always says, you, you can't speed them up, but once I teach them how to slow it down, it really becomes, it becomes special and that's exactly what Carrington's doing this year. Absolutely, and she's a very smart player. Now her being able to shoot the three, she can open up the floor and she's certainly a tremendous athlete. Before we let you go, what's the biggest difference between the league right now as it stands today and, and when you played here in the 90s? You know, that's, people ask that a lot. You know, what was it like when we played versus now? And I think across the board, players are bigger. I think bigger, um, you know, athleticism, that the, the ways of training is, is definitely different. You know, skill, I think, is, is fairly on par. I think the women's game has been known for its skill and continues to be known for that. And in the Pac-12 in particular, I mean, shooting percentage is the name of the game. The top three teams in the conference, all very great shooters. And so what are you going to look for out of the gate tonight? I'm going to look for a lot of threes if, if, I'm, if I could, you know, be a brilliant predictor here. But, you know, I think whichever team out-rebounds and, and can shoot the ball well tonight, I think it's going to come out on top. All right, good stuff. Well, we uh, have absolutely loved having you on. Thank you for making you. time for us. Enjoy the game. Maybe we'll come find you afterwards okay, as well. Okay, sounds we good. Thank you. Time.